Doug Higgins for GoGoldCountry.com. This afternoon we're at Jamestown Harley-Davidson. We're, this is at the end of the sixth annual Corporal Michael Anderson uh, Memorial Run. We're here with his father, Michael. Michael, tell me, what are you feeling on this sixth anniversary of Michael's death? Well, me, being Military Appreciation Month, uh, and Mike Jr.'s birthday as well. Um, I, I, I feel a lot of honor and I feel a lot of tribute having the group that we had today. There was 500 plus people, it was just tremendous. Full law enforcement escort getting us up here safely. Lights flashing, sirens blaring, motorcycles blasting past us, high rate of speed. Um, for me, it's an honor to come up here and pay tribute to our veterans. It's not just about my son today. It's not just about Mike Jr. It's about the veterans that have, that have served in the past, that have paved the way to where we're at today. Mm -hmm. We welcome home the veterans that never got welcomed home, um, and also welcome home the kids that are currently serving that are coming home with PTSD and you know different, different combat injuries. So um, a lot of emotion today. Is there anything about today's run that stands out in your mind from last year? They get a little bigger each year. Uh, we have more participation from law enforcement. We have more participation from our state legislators, including uh, our congressmen. Um, it's, it's, it's a great event. I appreciate everybody coming out. It's not a, not a fundraiser. We invite everybody to come ride for free as opposed to a lot of the other rides that charge you know, large amounts of money. Um, it's just a way to come out and, and, and honor our kids, honor our, our veterans that are here today. Uh, those that gave all on our Gold Star families. Um, like I say, it's just it's an emotional day for a lot of us. So what brings you to Jamestown Harley this afternoon? Well, my name is Jessica Castro and I come from San Francisco, California and I'm at Jamestown Harley-Davidson today supporting Mike Anderson and the St first Stanislaw Fallen Troops and we um, do this every year. It's a really important run and I'm honored to ride it. Uh, they actually donated a nice bagger to me today so I had a great time. It was really exciting and I'm out here with Jason Poulin from Jason Poulin Stunts and he did a stunt show in Modesto and we were hoping to do a stunt show up here too. Jessica, was that you out there as we came into town waving at me? That was me waving at you coming into town. I was so excited. It was just the funnest thing. Actually, riding a Harley is really exhilarating and it's really exciting. So I was grinning from cheek to cheek and waving at everyone, honking at anyone that would honk back and even at the ones that don't honk back. I just like to annoy them. I love being a female rider, being safe out there on the road. Tell me about that pretty red Harley. Well, the bagger is a beautiful bagger. I hope to own it one day. It's a full dresser with a stereo and a great, probably about 895, maybe 900 pounds. Um, back at home, I have a couple Sportsters and I ride Jay's FXR all the time. So I actually appreciated the bagger. Now I'm going to start a little savings account for m my bagger. <laughs> what stands out in your mind about the ride up here from Modesto? Uh, the tranquility, the, the actual ride itself was really spiritual for me. I enjoyed the scenery, the planes up above. I got to see a couple beautiful uh, birds dive down and that was amazing actually. It's very spiritual for me to be on two wheels and I had a great time. I, it's amazing and I'm honored enough. At first I was going to have to drive home with Jason and now I get to ride this thing home again. So. I'm, I'm excited. I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> Jessica, thanks for taking the time. We hope to see you again next year. Definitely. Thank you. It's a game in the back. You wanted to shot or something. You went and talked to Jack. You had a little money and was a great A fool. There was a goddamn bell who used to shoot a little pool. Right, come on. Jack was thinking back behind the bar. He 
said he had a wife. She left him in tears. He hasn't been home once in 25 years. Brent Layton. Brent. What brings you out to the run this weekend? You know, we're here uh, today not only to honor uh, Corporal Mike Anderson Jr., but uh, all of our fallen, all of our current veterans and everybody else. I lost my son, matter of fact, eight months today in Afghanistan. So I'm an unfortunate member of this Gold Star family. You know, nobody signed up for this, but that's what life dealt us, so we, we deal with it one day at a time. Brent, can you tell me some of the detail of your son's death? Uh, my son uh, was a Navy corpsman attached to the Marine unit for Combined uh, Security Transition Command during the ambush in Ganjagal, September 8, 2009. It was kind of a controversial ambush in which uh, air support and artillery was denied and our guys were left out there to die. So it was really tough. You know, we, we take the chance and we know that, that things can happen when you go into combat and into war, but yeah, that made it tougher knowing that it could have been prevented and there was just some lax upper command thing, so. I'm sorry for your loss. Appreciate you coming Thank out you. today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come on.